Good morning or good afternoon, depending where you are in, in the world. Uh, my name is Justin. I'm the head of procurement solutions at Odyssey Energy Solutions. It's my joy to be with you all this morning to discuss the perfect battery for Nigeria, the Pylon Tech UP5000 with solar with Akande. Uh, before I introduce the speaker for today, Mr. Akande Olawale, uh, I'll just introduce Odyssey Procure for those of you who are not familiar with us and share a little bit of background on, on what we do at Odyssey and how we are mission driven to provide a better procurement experience for your renewable energy company. So Odyssey uh, Energy Solutions is a platform that helps renewable energy companies with distributed renewable energy projects throughout the world. We've been around for more than five years and we've had more than $1.3 billion of financing deployed through our platform. We've supported more than 37 financing programs around uh, the world, uh, with the majority of which across um, the developing world and particularly Africa, with our flagship project being in partnership with the Nigerian Energy Program. Um, in, in of course, in, in Nigeria, which we're particularly excited to be discussing our, our support for that ecosystem today. Um, we have more than 2,000 uh, renewable energy companies in our network that we support with, with uh, a large uh, um, uh, portion of those companies being in Nigeria. We support at every stage of the renewable energy project cycle. We support from planning and forecasting, um, offering software tool, tools similar to design and sizing tools that um, that solar um, system design software offers, but it goes a step further and helps with all aspects of project planning. We support with financing, both with commercial financing through our private banking partnerships, as well as with public financing through concessional programs, such as in partnership with the World Bank. We also, of course, support with all aspects of procurement, which we'll be discussing today. Um, and I will share more details specifically on our initiatives related to procurement shortly. And we also help with all aspects of operating a uh, renewable energy system. That includes remote management and controls, both through software integrations with APIs, as well as hardware integrations with Odyssey's own um, hardware technology. For a better procurement experience, we support with these uh, key aspects of, 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 of procurement. The first is we offer uh, the best pricing uh, available. So uh, we achieve this by uh, obtaining volumes and aggregating orders with select pieces of equipment, including with Pylon Tech, which you'll learn about today one of our flagship partners. Um, we also do this by, um, by running um, equipment finance facility programs, such as in Nigeria, we have a $25 million equipment finance facility uh, under the name DART, which is Demand Aggregation for Renewable Technology, which is a program that we run in partnership with All On, um, which is supported by Shell. So we, we utilize this program and, and our aggregation methods to unlock the best pricing available with select OEMs. We also ever we also offer, excuse me, the best the best payment terms available. Um, so on, on companies' procurements directly with OEMs, we can offer uh, payment terms as low as 10 or 15 percent down versus a typical 50 or 100 percent down that an OEM may offer. And then we can we offer the balance payment after arrival in the host country, which I will explain. As we are doing today on, on the webinar, we also offer informed procurement decisions, which is information about equipment, information about OEMs, technology, trends, um, project case studies, etc. cetera. Um, and so we're, we're delighted to offer uh, an information sharing hub for our um, renewable energy partners related to um, uh, uh, procurement and the procurement landscape. 
So if you have a question at all about anything we're going to discuss today, about lithium, about compatible inverters, about an OEM-specific sp experience in uh, Nigeria or elsewhere in Africa, we are, we are delighted to answer those questions. And then we also offer supply chain support. Um, this is usually in the form of any form of logistics, whether it's air freight or sea freight clearing or outsourced supply chain uh, department to, to Odyssey Procure. We're happy to take that headache away from your company. How can you work with Odyssey Procure? Well, you can engage with us offline, which, which we have a number of partners with that we engage offline. And you, those are usually strategic partnerships, sometimes with OEMs, such as working with our supply chain partner, Okra, or in the form of equipment finance facilities or financing houses or um, NGOs, for instance. Or you can engage with us online um, through this website. And on this website, you can create an account for free. You'll see a link in the chat box. You can also access past webinars that we've recorded um, and, and past trainings that we've done on this website, all for free. Uh, if you don't have an account already, we encourage you to create an account. After you create an account, you will be assigned an account manager. And that account manager is fluent, so to speak, in renewable energy technology and is aware of the latest trends and uh, equipment available, both in Nigeria and elsewhere in Africa and can help you on your next procurement decisions. So re register for free with us today and you can gain access to also pricing resources and other information available that we'll discuss today. Um, as I mentioned earlier, a, a key initiative of ours is what we call better payment terms. Better payment terms is available to those companies that want to unlock support for working capital and essentially outsource supply chain to Odyssey. Um, we offer as low as 15% uh, down payment for equipment, payment within uh, after arrival in the country in Nigeria, um, and, oh, excuse me, and, um, and um, yeah, and as mentioned, offering a full, full supply chain services that go with that. Now, if you're a member of the Renewable Energy Association of Nigeria, also known as RIAN, we are also delighted to offer as low as 10% down uh, for your next procurement and balance payment within 60 days after arrival in Nigeria. Now, if you're procuring batteries or inverters, that can also be against the backdrop of three or four months lead time before it even arrives in Nigeria. So we're really offering a very strong working capital facility for renewable energy companies um, that can qualify for this working capital um, almost instantly, simply with, with a down payment. Now, the benefits of this initiative is it frees up working capital, it can help companies better manage lead times, and we essentially remove the entire supply chain and logistics uh, headache from, from your company. And we also offer technical support and aftercare, for instance, for Pylon Tech Batteries, in which we are the first line of support and authorized distributor for Nigeria. Um, so uh, without further ado, uh, I, I'm excited to announce that we do have uh, Pylon Tech coming into the country. They're currently clearing at the port in Lagos. Um, we have, uh, last time I checked, over 140 batteries still available. Um, these are five kilowatt hour batteries, which Akande will share with us all the details about shortly. Um, they are going fast. So if you'd like to, to book your, your order, uh, please get in touch with us today to reserve uh, stock. We also have more batteries on order, which are set to arrive roughly in uh, two and a half months in, in Nigeria as well, uh, along with Deye inverters and Longi solar panels, which we are launching as partners with all three of those brands. If you'd like to learn more about what's available, visit our website. You can see from um, the local stock tab what is available, and you can get in touch with an account manager today to walk through your procurement needs. So uh, without further ado, it's it's my delight to welcome today uh, a friend and, and colleague who's been passionate about the, um, the off-grid 
storage, particularly lithium battery market in Nigeria for many years. I've known Akande for several years and, and he's been a pioneer really in, in discussing and, and educating people about the, the benefits of lithium in Nigeria. So Akande is, is a passionate battery expert. He's an energy enthusiast with a strong affinity to solar technology. He's the CEO of Ziva Solar and Infolian Battery, and excuse me, of, of Zivia Solar, and he's an Infolian battery expert as well. He's a YouTube creator. If you don't know him already, please check out his YouTube, where he offers extensive training and reviews on equipment and product specifically relevant to the Nigerian market. Um, and his channel, his channel talks about all things batteries and renewable technology. Uh, it's it's a must view if you're in Nigeria and if you're interested in the solar and renewable uh, energy landscape. And dare I say, uh, Nigeria is the most exciting off-grid uh, storage market in the world. And so um, it's really uh, an honor to have you here, Akande, discussing with us um, uh, why the Pylon UP5000 is the perfect battery for Nigeria. So without further ado, I'll turn it to you, Akande. And I should say, uh, sorry, as an admin note, if you have questions, please feel free to ask them throughout the webinar. Um, we will we will not attend to them immediately. However, at the end, we will have a Q&A session um, and we will make sure we get to all your questions. Also, a standard question is always about price and um, availability. Those questions can be, uh, you can easily see price and availability on our website. And rest assured that this webinar is being recorded and you will you will indeed be able to access it and share it at a later time um, from our platform. So Akande, over to you, my friend. All right, thank you, Justin. Thank you very much. You know, I'm, start, I'm starting to feel like a superstar or a rock star right now. <laughs> no, um, thank you. Um, so you're actually welcome. You're welcome to um, Pylon Tech, the perfect battery for Nigeria. And really, I've always talked about the Pylon Tech in the sense that it's, um, for me, my favorite battery. Um, I've been in the renewable energy space for um, close to seven years now. And really, my experience is always um, is centered around, more of my experience is centered around lithium batteries. And because I, I just have a really, really big um, interest and um, amusement for them um, based on how it works, especially in the context of Nigeria. And um, basically, that's it. So without further ado, let's, um, I'm going to share my screen and we can get started. All right. So Pylon Tech, the perfect battery for Nigeria. This is a deep dive into lithium and Pylon Tech batteries. So you will get to learn about um, lithium batteries and um, why it's perfect. You know, we have different types of battery. We have the AGM, we have lead acid, we have flooded types of bat flooded batteries. We have so many batteries that, that are out there today, but um, why lithium? So. Um, this is one of the, this is the reason why you're actually watching this. This is um, so that you, you can actually learn a lot from this and know why we are talking about lithium, um, lithium batteries and in the actual sense, pylon tech in this context. All right. So. All right. So I have my table of content. Some of the things that we'll be talking about, we're we'll looking at. Um, so um, let's. Let's, uh, okay, let me just get right into it. So let us batteries versus lithium batteries. So um, this is one um, subject that a lot of people would like to know about. This is one topic that a lot of people want to, you know, they've always talked about, but I'll actually be sharing some of the things that I, um, that I found out over the years about this. And um, it's actually gonna be good for you because you want to know more about these batteries even before you buy them, before you um, you invest in them. I always talk about batteries in the um, in the form of an investment because they are true investments. You want to use something that is going to last for a long time. 
And in my own mind, what I see is um, having something that is actually reliable, that has a good customer service and something that can last at least 15 years. So if you don't know, in the context of Nigeria, um, a lot of people have bought batteries in the past, spending close to around, you know, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, you know, buying, um, creating their own power that's with renewable energy. And then you buy these batteries and, you know, they don't last for more than two years. And in most cases, six months. And worst case scenario, you can see like three months and stuff like that. So imagine investing in so much and you are getting that kind of return out of it. You are getting that kind of return of investment, that kind of return on investment out of it. So what are the differences? What are the characteristics? What differentiates lithium ion batteries from lead acid batteries? So on this side, I have, first of all, the circle light. For lead acid batteries, you have 500 to 1,000 circles for lead acid batteries. And in most cases, you see, um, 500 circles. I just, you know, I like to spike it up a little bit. And um, on circle life for the lithium batteries, you have 2,000 to 5,000 circles, which is way much more. Imagine having circle life, let me explain, is it's the circle of the battery, is the lifespan of the battery. So um, this, in, in, in this case, imagine having 500 to 1,000 and uh, with the lithium ion batteries, you have 2,000 to 5,000. That's so much, really. For charging efficiency, that's how much the um, the battery will charge. For the lead acid side, you have 80%, up to 80% of for your lead acid batteries and up to 95% for your lithium ion batteries. I have, you know, I've tested these batteries. I've, I've um, gone through um, a whole lot of tests for them. And this, I'm, I'm, I'm a battery junkie. I, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so amazing how much I love batteries. I've tested them over time and I've noticed that the charge time, um, the charge time for a lead acid battery and for a lithium ion battery is just so different. You don't want to have something that, you know, you have it and at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's not just reliable, it doesn't charge fast. So what the lead acid does is it dumps this power in there and most of the time it doesn't really stay. So you can see that you have 100% some of the time and actually in the actual sense, you've not actually pushed a lot into those batteries. So it's 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 it can be really really weird, but for lithium ion batteries, you know what you are getting into those batteries is what you are actually getting out. So charge efficiency for the lithium ion battery is ninety five percent. Voltage decrease by time. That's voltage drop. So for lead acid batteries, the voltage they decrease by time. For um, lithium ion batteries, voltage voltage fluctuates only a little. So you only see the voltage drop, but little by little for lithium ion batteries. And don't I want you to understand that actually what we are actually coming here to talk about today is lithium ion battery. So you can see the huge difference that is actually in um, these two batteries. So concerning maintenance also, maintenance is required for lead acid batteries. A lot of maintenance, especially if you have the flooded types of batteries, you see you have to put water in them, distilled water in them. You have to check the terminals. You have to do a lot of stuff. Um, there's something I call the blue demon. You get corrosion all over the battery and a lot of stuff like that. You want to maintain your lead acid batteries, but for lithium, there's little or no maintenance. Like I, I know I, I said here that no, not, not required, but little or no maintenance at all. So in, in the rarest cases, maybe a little bit of cleanup and that's just it. And that doesn't affect the actual work of the battery. Control, six, control system, you have no control system on the lead acid batteries. It's like, um, it's a traditional type of battery. It's traditional. It's um, in the actual sense, I permit me to use this word, it's a dumb battery. All it does is just, and I'm not, no, 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 uh, I'm not trying to be a bad person here. I'm just stating the obvious. So control system on the um, lithium side, you have the BMS monitors and current temperature, ETC, and um, basically this is for battery protection, for battery safety and stuff like that. So you can actually see the difference between the lead acid battery and the lithium battery. So also self-discharge, you know, you can, the batteries self-discharge if they are not used over time. And what you want to see, you will see a lot of that with lead acid batteries. You see about 5% per month when it comes to lead acid batteries. And for lithium ion batteries is about one to two 
uh, one to two percent per month, which is actually pretty nice. So you can store it up for a very long time and you will not expect to see um, any damage, any big damage on them. And for lead acid batteries, if your batteries go down, that means if you don't use it for like two years or something, it goes down completely. That's a big problem. You might not be able to actually jack it up anymore. For lithium batteries, yeah, it's the same, but um, there's still many times I still, because I've tested it over time, there's still life in them. And sometimes you can still use them. All right, so um, concerning size also, I don't know if you've seen this very big, large batteries. Um, those are lead acid batteries. And you'll see a, a lot of piles of them because you, if you want to use um, a five kilowatt, pi for example, in the case of the Pylon Tech, which is also a five kilowatt, you are looking at close to um, four batteries in a 48 volt setup. Four batteries in a 48 volt setup. They are always so big, they take so much space and quite heavy also. So on the lead acid side, is three times the weight of the actual lithium ion battery. So imagine that you have something that is very compact. It doesn't take so much space. You can uh, move around. You can put it basically anywhere in your house. There's no maintenance, like I said. So having no maintenance is also that it is um, environmentally friendly. You don't, um, you, you would, you would almost not um, go there or eat it or remove something and it gets spoiled or something. Whereas in the lead acid battery, you have to be really, really be careful. In the case of flooded, bio, flooded batteries, where it also gases, that, um, that there's a whole lot of environmental issue right there. So um, that's it for lead acid versus lithium. At least now, you know why we're actually talking about um, lithium batteries compared to the lead acid battery, which is a traditional type that we use here in Nigeria. It's a really, really huge difference. All right, so let's go, let's continue. So would, should we say that lithium ion batteries do not have problems? Yes, they do. Lithium ion batteries do have problems. And in this case, um, because some people's mind is, yeah, we talk about lithium ion batteries like this, and um, in their mind, they think, ah, it's the best. Let me just go for basically anything. Let me just go out there and get something. But really, that's not the case. Um, the actual cases, which even with some lithium ion batteries, you will see low quality battery cells. So imagine something with so much superpower having um, some issues like that. So low quality battery cells, which you actually see in some of the batteries that you buy out there. And this is basically from research. I've seen a whole lot of them. You know, one battery fails. And when one cell fails in the entire pack, it takes the rest with it. So you might not even be able to use power at all. It might not come on at all and a lot of issues like that. So you, also you have low quality battery monitoring system. Low quality battery monitoring system. Battery monitoring system is what controls the battery, is what protects the battery. That's what helps you to not overcharge and over discharge. Because in a case where you overcharge the battery, it, it might dam it would damage it. In a case where you undercharge it also, it would also damage it. So you want to have many of these batteries don't have um, good battery monitoring system. And I've seen um, in, in a case where um, um, a friend introduced me to this battery, it was actually pretty nice. Wanted to, the, the, the design was nice, everything was cool. We talked to the customer care person and stuff like that, you know, and I don't know, we eventually didn't buy the battery at that point. And we, um, someone else actually got it, a whole lot of it. They sold it to customers and stuff like that. At, at that time, I was actually even jealous. I was very, very jealous that this was actually the battery I wanted to buy. Imagine a big company in Nigeria is now buying it and selling to the customers, to their customers. And, you know, we we waited for a while. You know, I was talking to my friend that was actually working with that particular company. And he talked about the fact that, man, the battery is bad. It's this. They, they had to go to customers' place like all the time to check with the, um, the BMS system. Um, to check this, to check that, and stuff like that. So imagine having this lithium, this super batteries, and you are having so much issue, issues with them. You don't want to actually see that. All right. So, and the last one that I have here is incompatibility with common inverters. So, some of these batteries are not compatible. The packs, the the packs are not compatible with the common inverters that you have out there. So, um, really. This is something that you want to know because we're actually going to get there that because you want your batteries to be able to communicate. So compatibility is communication between the battery and the inverter. That means they can talk to each other. They know when to shut down. The battery knows when to shut down. The battery knows when to do, um, to protect, 
to protect um, to to help it from protection. The battery knows everything, so there's a there's a communication between the inverter and the battery. That's why really lithium is smart. That's why I call. I don't want to go back there. <laughs> All right. So lithium is smart. It it gives you that sense of smart, and that's just it. So I think we can go on from here. Um, so what is our solution? Our solution really is the Pylon Tech lithium battery. Pylon Tech is an advanced um, lithium battery that aims to transform storage. And I've actually seen them do that, you know, with um, starting from the US 2000s, the UC 3000, and a whole lot of these batteries have I've, I've come to understand because I've actually installed them in the past. I've installed them. I've come to, come to understand the ease. You know, you are not putting in so much effort to make your batteries work. You are basically, um, your batteries are communicating with the inverter. It's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And that's just the best part of it. So let's just get to that. Um, so our solution, like I said, is um, for the Pylon Tech Lithium Ion Battery. Because, uh, yeah, this is why, okay, let's just get to this. The Pylon Tech UP5000, the Nigerian battery game changer. This will explain why I said it's the perfect battery. So the Pylon Tech UP5000 battery is poised to be a game changer in Nigerian energy landscape as an innovative lithium ion battery. The UP5000 offers numerous advantages that can revolutionize uh, energy storage in the country. And this is why you get all these batteries and in your mind, like I said, it's truly for you an investment. It's truly for you an investment. You know the current state of power in Nigeria, and that is, it is not news to anybody. I, um, um, some days back, you know, especially when you don't have power, you know, buying fuel and stuff like that, the Ike and the price of fuel and everything. In, imagine you now come to that place where you tell yourself, I think renewable energy is actually the way to go. And you invest in renewable energy. You invest in buying solar panels. You invest in buying batteries. You invest in buying um, inverters. And many times, these things are not cheap. Really, in the actual sense of it. I'm, I'm not looking at anybody's face right now to say this. They are not cheap. And imagine buying them and you use them for, like I said in, uh, before, when they started, three months, and you start to see a downslide on what you bought. It's, it's, it changes your perspective about renewable energy. You don't, it doesn't just change your perspective. You feel like you've, you've spent on nothing. You feel like you're, you've just wasted your investment. And that's just it. So the UP5000, like I said, is a, is a game changer because it's a five kilowatt um, battery that, um, that would serve you. This would serve you in the case of um, your home, your office, um, if it's in the mini grid setup, this would really, really serve you. Imagine buying a battery that has a warranty of like, you know, seven years, in most cases, 10 years. And this is just the beauty of it. And you don't just, you don't just, um, rely on the warranty, you know that you are guaranteed. You know that these batteries are actually going to work. And that's basically it. Pylon Tech has been around for a very long time. I know for, for like 13 years now, and they've been really, really doing so well. And we'll get to that where we will actually see, you know, some of the um, tests that has been done on these batteries and a whole list of them, lithium ion batteries, a superpower with all the superpowers, how some people are not just getting that game, but Pylon Tech has their game right. So let's continue. All right. So um, a test was done by um, International Electrotech Commission. Te the test standard for um, the test um, test standard for industrial application for lithium-ion batteries, and you know this is a basic test to know, you know, if these batteries are actually um, good. Uh, so the test was done as at 2016. As you can see, a list of batteries here. We have the Calbi, we have the Echo Alt, we have the GNB PBA, we have Cocam, um, we have LG Chem, we have Samsung, we have Sony, we have the Tesla, like we all know. So Tesla also makes um, batteries. They make uh, Powerwall batteries. 
and um, Alpha ESS, we have the Ampetos, we have the um, LG Chem, we have Pylon Tech, we have Redflow, we have Simply, um, Simply Fee, we have Tesla PW2 also. So these tests were actually done around 2015 to 2016. And around um, April to July, the batteries were actually being tested by these companies. And you can see the first, the first battery on our list, Calbee started having issues around April, May. And right here, it says single fault cell identified and replaced. So the, the, imagine buying a battery and you it was installed and around May, um, you install January and around May, the battery now starts to have, you know, faults, single fault cell um, identified and stuff like that. And, um, oh, sorry. Um, all right. So Echo Alt also had some issues around um, 2017, around October 2017. And LCC, um, that state of charge algorithm errors um, result in battery pack recycling and stuff like that. Imagine having this kind of issues with these batteries. It's not something that you want to see and stuff like that. So Cocam also had some issues around October, um, BMS fails. Like I said, BMS failures, imagine having BMS failures on these batteries. It's it's a whole, it's a, it's, it's, it takes a lot from you. It just takes so much from you. Around October of that same 2016. So it's not even up to a year, these batteries have issues and stuff like that. So lithium is a superpower battery at the end of the day, but you would still find some people, you know, with their technology currently, they've not gotten it right. And that's just it. It's 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 the state that we are currently in. LG Chem LV, you know, had some issues. You know, battery is replaced due to cell imbalance. That was also what I mentioned. Imagine um, that's the case of the BMS actually. Maybe probably there's um, there are no active balancers and stuff like that. You know, to balance these batteries. So batteries were imbalanced and the batteries had to be replaced and stuff like that. Tesla PW and let me just rush on this. Tesla PW M has no issues. Sony um, has no issues. Um, you know. I did a um a review like I did a um um a, a, a test really of many of these batteries. I looked out there and I I I did like a a review of my top batteries. If um four reviews of my like four types of batteries that are basically my top batteries and. Right here, I had BYD also. You can see the case of the BYD. It's perfect. There are no issues at all, you know, compared to the Acheon, the Ampetos, and all of the list of other batteries and stuff like that. But if you look down there, you also see the pylon tech right here, and you realize that there are actually no issues at all. So many of these batteries, and also even with the Tesla, like Tesla PW2 came out also, they had some issues around... Um, July 2017, and you can see it right there. Battery not battery not cycling as it is a, it's is unable to be extremely controlled. Battery was replaced some time later and stuff like that. So you can it, it's not rare for you to find you know these issues on these batteries. It's actually not rare. But imagine a battery that has no issues, a, a battery that would that stands the test of time that if they tell you, yeah, this battery would last 15 years, it would actually do 15 years. And that's just it, that's it with the pylon tech, you know, pylon tech batteries. That's that's really it with pylon tech batteries. So that's why I said it's a game changer. So let's look at the specifications as we basically rush into this. Um, nominal voltage for the UP5000 is 48 volts. Nominal capacity is 4,800. Um, usable capacity is around 4,560. Basically, you don't want to, um, that's basically around, you know, 95% um, actually. You, you don't want to, um, um, it's it's UP5000, but it's actually rated 4,800. So um, also dimensions, we don't want to look at that. weight is around 40 kg. Like I said, uh, compared to lead acid batteries, which are in, in the actual sense, when you weigh everything that will give you that actual five kilowatts, this is, <laughs> you are looking at like, up to five times the weight of compared to a lead acid battery. So this is basically around 40 kg for a five kilowatt 48 volt um, system. You know, discharge voltage, charge voltage around 52.5 volts and working temperature, basically stuff that actually, these are um, all technical 
um, things that you actually know that, yes, this this works for Nigeria. Design life is 10 years and cycle life is 4,500 at 25 degrees Celsius. So some of the uh, basic stuff that you need to know about the Pylon Tech UP5000, the specifications and stuff like that, you can actually look at this later. And if it's basically, this is something that you want to have. And I, I think for me, I, I don't I don't think I have, it was my number one battery actually. Um, even before I started talking about, even before I started talking about the Pylon Tech as basically anything has always been my number one battery. It's easy, easy to install, um, um, environmentally friendly and all that. Okay, so like I said, compatibility. One of the things that you want to note when looking at this battery is, are they compatible with um, the inverters that you have out there? So we know the kind of inverters that we install in Nigeria. Nigeria does not go beyond a certain type of inverters. And that's just the truth. That's something that I've, I've actually found out. Some of the inverters that you would find in Nigeria that are compatible with this um, battery is actually listed right here. And I will show you some of them. You have the Victron Energy. You have um, SMA, Solar Technology. The Victron for the MultiPlus, you can use the Pylon Tech for the Quattro. You can use the Pylon Tech also. You have SME. You have Schneider Electric, the Connex XW Pro Series. You have Goodwee. You have um, Immune Energy. You have Stother. You have um, a whole lot of Stother right there. So most of these batteries have different types. They are um, basically made by the same company, but they have like completely different types. In this case, for the um, the Stoda is the Extender 48 volt series, and also Vario String series, the Vario Track 48 volt series also. So they have basically different types. Maybe probably in most cases different designs and with um, different um, a whole lot of uh, other things that are added to it that makes it special in their own. Um, way we have this um, select tech. So some of the list of the inverters that are here that we use is um, the Victron Energy. We use the Goodwe. We use Stutter. We use um, also the one that is actually very very um, um, popular that a lot of people use is the Voltronics. As you can see right here, the Voltronics is right here. And Voltronics, you know, the OEM for ma ma many of these major brands that you will see out there. It's this, uh, it's the experts, it's the Ginex, it's the iPower, and a whole lot of these other brands. So you are buying, if you're buying any of the Voltronics um, inverters, they are basically compatible with um, the Pylon Tech uh, battery. Also, so far, you know, I was at Sofa Solar some days, um, some weeks ago. I think it was around last week to last two weeks. Um, I posted a video on my YouTube channel. And so far, is actually one battery in Nigeria, uh, one inverter in Nigeria that is actually doing, you know, they are basically trying to also come up and stuff like that. So imagine the Sofa, um, Sofa series. One of the questions I also asked the major distributor, which was actually there, was that, you know, um, are these batteries compatible with the Pylon Tech? And in that video, we actually said yes, that in, 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 there was a case where you used it for, you know, uh, the high voltage series that they have. Um, for their inverters and stuff, and it works perfectly. It still works. He has installed it for like um, close to four years now, and stuff like that. So the battery still works, and it's um, it's it's really really perfect. It com it's it communicates with the um, inverter, and that's actually something that you also want to know. So we have um, the Voltronic, like I said, Sofa. Um, we have Solis. We have Zuketi, um, Redback. We have Deyer. Deyer is the same as Sunsing. I don't know if you've seen the Sunsync inverter. Um, they are also they also OEM for Jinko. If you've seen the Jinko 48 volt, they all look alike actually, just stand out. And they just stand out as the same kind of brand and stuff like that. They do a lot of OEMs and stuff. So um, if you are getting the day year inverter, you know that you can actually use um, you can use it with the pylon tech. Um, Lux Power, I've installed the Lux Power. I, I, I know how it works. It works perfectly, like I said, with the pylon tech. And stuff like that. Morningstar, Deloitte, um, um, Inject Team Power, MLT, Stecker. Imagine a whole list of inverters. So you cannot miss it when you are buying your inverter. So many times, one of the things that you consider when buying your inverter is, well, oh, what's the cost? So, um, like I said, um, you can if you look at this um, the the inverters listed, you can see even 
the, those inverters that are not so expensive in that actual sense, they are basically listed here. We have the Broward also, for example. Broward is also right here. You have the um, SP, uh, SPH 3000 to 6000. You have the SPF 2000 to 5000. Um, you have the M2000 to 3000 H. Basically, any most of the growers that you will see out there, as long as not the, the as long as it's a 48 volt um, inverter, would work basically work um, with this. Axioma, um, Western Coal, TBB. I was at TBB some days back. I also made videos of their inverters and their battery and stuff like that. Um, basically, this is also I know TBB com com competes with the Victrons. Uh, some knowledge that you know we have here and there. They compete with the Victrons is as is as good as the Victron. It, it, at least um, they will, if they say that themselves. So the Kenegia Pro Series um, can do can do the work. And also most, most also PV1 800 and stuff like that, 5.5 kilowatts can also, is also compatible with this. The Moxia, um, Sorotech, I've seen a lot of Sorotech inverters. It's it's quite popular here in Nigeria. Um, also Solax Power, Solax Power is also very popular. Um, if you've seen videos of um, 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 Dr. Solar, Mr. Christopher and Wasoya, it does um, um, Solax uh, power inverters. It's a major distributor in Nigeria. And so it basically, uh, it's out there already. If you want to get the Solax inverter, you might um, go there. But uh, I, I think basically it's, it's the major uh, distributor in Nigeria. Synergy, um, Levoltec, uh, OptiSolar, uh, GMDE, and a whole list of all these inverters, basically. So, um, as you can see, like I said, it's perfect for Nigeria. This is because you, you cannot just miss it with all these inverters. You have um, the best of the best here. You have uh, the ones that are not able, you wouldn't even think about. So Pylon Tech makes sure that, you know, they are compatible with all these batteries. And compatibility, like I said, it's, it's communication. That means the batteries can communicate with the inverter. That's why... In cases where you want to process warranty, if your warranty is 10 years, imagine you want to process um, on the ninth year. One of the questions that you will be asked is, are you are the batteries communicating with the inverter that you are currently using? So they will ask um, basically all these questions. Many of these inverters also have, you know, um, um, graphs and things like that that will show you um, what, um, how the battery has been performing and stuff like that. So what many of the questions that you ask if you want to process warranty is, does it communicate? So you don't just want to use basically any inverter. You want to use inverters that are listed here. So it's very, very important that your battery is compatible with the inverter. All right. So um, like I said, Pylon Tech is, um, UP5000 is basically um, a 4,800, uh, 4, um watts um, um kilowatts battery um it's it's basically standard um you can connect up to um 16 packs that means you can they are scalable you can put um you can add more batteries more five kilowatt batteries on top of each other to give you a really 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 bigger back in that case if you want to do that to get you can get close to four four hundred and sixty point eight kilowatts in um in storage and that's quite a lot for the pylon tech it's that is so much if you actually think about it you might not need the lv ops if you are installing just about 16 of them to give you 76.8 that's 76.8 kilowatts of batteries you won't need the lv ops but if you are going way beyond that that means 16 times six then you would actually need um the lv off that if you want to go to as big as you want to go as big as 460.8 kilowatt power that's and that's really really huge that's not that's not a small deal at all so pylon tech gives you the opportunity to actually connect more divide more of the batteries and get a bigger power so in the case where you are thinking of the mini grid pylon tech is the best for you so like i said not just for nigeria it's basically for Africa. If you look at it, where um, a lot of places where there are no um, little or no access to the grid, you want something that would actually last. You want something that you can rely on. You want something that is scalable and is very, very reliable. And Pylon Tech gives you that opportunity. All right. So the applications basically is um, home, office, and mini grid. So when considering your past storage 
options for a home, a office, or a mini grid setup, Pylon Tech GP5000 stands out as an excellent choice. It offers a range of benefits that caters to your specific needs, to your specific needs and um, requirements. And that's um, impressive power storage capacity, its um, compatibility, its scalability, and also its built-in protection. So you can't miss it when it comes to um, protection. The um, Pylon Tech, yeah, you know, has it when it comes to that. You are protected all around, anytime, any day, and basically um, that's it. Um, so, um, all right. So um, in the case of Victron, you can see uh, um, a diagram of, you know, how it's connected for the UP5000 and a whole list of other things. Um, um, you can do up to 72.96 kilowatts. That's without the LV ops and 400 and something without with the LV ops. Also, uh, you know, I was talking to um, Dr. Solar recently. I, I also had an interview with him and we jumped into a conversation and he was talking about the fact that, you know, if he wants to get um, um, the uh, um, solar panels or things that would work for his entire system, it would actually go for the best. And in most cases, you'll find the best. Uh, and I, I'm just really being frank here, you know, around many of these solar panels, Canadian Solar, Jinko, uh, Longi, and a whole lot of these um, solar panels, you know, they are, they, are, they, are, they are solar panels that can last you for like 26 years, 26 years, 30 years. And these guys, they are, they are just basically the best. You want to mix them. You want to get the right equipment. You want to invest in the right things, like I said. So Pylon Tech is good for uh, basically all these things. If you are installing a day year, for example, you, you know you have the best when it comes to this. All right, guys. So um, I'll leave the ground for your Q and A, your questions. And please ask questions so I can get to you on that. All right, so I have a question from um, Abraham Afolabi. Okay, he, he's asking if we have the presentation available, available for later use. Um, I think I'll pass that to Justin. Justin should have the right answer to that. Absolutely. Uh, uh, we, we will have this presentation available uh, from the procure.odyssey.energy website, which is shared in the chat box. We, we, will, we will, for those of anyone joining late, we can reshare the link. But this webinar and all past webinars, including webinars on training with Jinko, ATIS, GrowWatt, they're all available on our website. Um, so yeah, definitely. And Akande, uh, you know, well done, my friend. What a, what a great, insightful presentation. Uh, it's it's, it's so you. great to have you here sharing your vast knowledge about not only the lithium landscape, but also Pylon Tech in particular, particularly particularly enjoyed your knowledge of the understanding the landscape in Nigeria um, related to other inverters and, and other equipment that's that's common mm -hmm. and popular in Nigeria. You know, it's really difficult to get that level of insight anywhere else for anyone that that um, may be familiar with a European market or US market or South African market, for instance, but really understanding what's what's happening in Nigeria is, is very interesting. Um, <clears throat> So um, just, just to reiterate, um, we have about 10 minutes or so. So uh, we welcome all questions um, and, and we'll, we'll try to get to them as, as much as possible. Uh, I'll just reiterate because they're the most common questions that yes, this presentation will be available as I just mentioned on our website. Um, if you want pricing, um, visit our website as well. It's, uh, it's, it's a procure.odyssey.energy. All pricing is available there. If you don't have an account already, you will be assigned an account manager and, and please consider that account manager an extension of your team. Uh, they will help you in understanding the compatibilities, the, the pricing, um, the availability. Uh, for those of you who missed it, um, the, these batteries are currently clearing uh, ports. They should be at, at our warehouse in the next week. Um, however, they are selling quickly. So um, we've already committed many of the batteries. So if, if you'd like to... Uh, make sure your your order is safe. Uh, please please get in touch uh, today. Um, and again, just just to reiterate, all, all the information about the stock available and pricing is available on our website, which which we'll just share again in the chat box now. 
um, and you can you can you can um, you can reference everything there. We have about 142 batteries uh, still available. Um, okay, back to back to uh, some technical questions. Um, let's see. Um, um, let's go to. Um, uh, all right, there's there's quite a few questions here. Um, there's been a few answered. Okay, it's, sorry, I kind of just going through quickly. So there's, can it parallel? Absolutely. And can is there um, uh, is that can it work with an external hub? Uh, I think I'll turn it to you first, Akande. Any any comments about what the parallel capacity is? Uh, you can also see the the detailed parallel capacity on our website under the product page. But would you like to comment there? Um, if if at least sixteen units could parallel Akande? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, you can have um sixteen units. Um, that's sixteen sixteen units without um the um LV up. But if you're going to be um, connecting with the LV up, like I mentioned, you would need, um, you can do close to 16 times six, you know, 16 times six of all um, um, the, the batteries with an LV up. So uh, I think um, that's it. You can, you'll be getting close to 460 kilowatts um, of PV, a bit of, of, of um, batteries in um, outputs in that. Yep. Thank you, sir. Excellent. And uh, if you'd like to know more about parallel capacities, um, you can you can visit our website. Uh, I think a general rule of thumb is, you know, 300 kilowatt hours or 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 um, or below. You definitely can consider and, and parallel these these batteries um, Any anything. Um, anything above, uh, you may want to consider high voltage options, although it is possible depending on the project site. Another question about, you know, LifePo4, definitely LifePo4 is lithium. So th this is this is exactly what we're talking about. If you're new to lithium, welcome to the club. Usually there's no turning back once people go to lithium. Um, um, where can you see these batteries per for purchase? And there's a lot of questions about if this is available in the Kenyan market. Um, there's two answers to that question, um, as well as the South African market. But um, for Kenya, it's... it's um, these batteries are available for purchase under a better payment term scheme. So if you were available at the beginning of the presentation with us, um, you, you, you may have learned that you can actually purchase these batteries with as low as 15% down and then balance on arrival. And so the Pylon Tech is definitely available for such um, payment terms in Kenya. However, we are not stocking the batteries locally in Kenya. So if you if you'd like to um, learn more, get in touch with us offline. We'll make sure you have a, an account manager assigned to you in Kenya. We have some we have a team in Kenya um, that that can assist you with your project requirements. Um, uh, here's one for you, uh, Kande. Moving on. Um, oh, and we can definitely post the 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 YouTube channel about solar with the Kande. Um, in in the, in the chat box again. Um, if 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 you join late, we'll post that and we'll put, repost our website just now. Um, can can you do open loop connection with Pylon Tech, uh, lithium batteries, Akande? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. And anything you'd like to add further about the kind of the standard communications uh, ports and, and 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 protocols, or maybe Akande in a related question. Okay, so you have um, LJ forty five cables to connect from your um, um, inverter to the the compound of the um, the battery. So basically, communication is pretty easy. All you just need to just look at, um, you can go through the manual. Like he said, there are a whole lot of um, uh, materials out there that you can actually look at. You can see um, the connector, um, The uh, it has a 19 inch rack. That's if you're getting for like your own, like a home use, you can um, put it in a 19 inch rack. There's a rack for, there's a pylon tech rack that can actually house um, things like that. Um, also for communications, communications are basically pretty easy. All you just need to do is just plug in, look at the um, the manual, and um, it's basically um, end to end. That's that, and that's all. 
Excellent. Um, and and um, uh, another question here, Kande, uh, can these batteries get higher voltage if put in series other than 48 volts? Yes, there's there are specific um, um, batteries for that. Batteries that uh, there are specific um, um, pylon tech batteries that can do high voltage, but not in this case. Yeah, so this is a standard forty-eight volt building 48 block. Forty-eight volts, yes. There yes. are um, the 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 pylon tech high voltage line. Um, uh, Temi Tope is um, um, is called the power cubes, which are also available. Um, under a uh, better payment terms plan. So if you're interested in that, generally for much, much bigger projects. Um, and they do work with with um, hybrid inverters such as um, ATIS, in which in which Odyssey Procure is a, a partner and they have um, um, uh, compatibility as well and communication protocols between the two. So if that's of interest to you, we are happy to share more details offline. Um, we are we're almost at time. Um, yeah, there, there's a few more questions about what's the address, how to get in touch with us. All that information is available when you fill out uh, uh, an account with us, which is for free from our website. So we are a fully uh, remote working team with um, warehousing and, and 3PL logistics partners throughout Africa, um, including uh, our main hubs, which is Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa. Um, we've been around for more than four years. Um, we've been supporting all of the financing programs for the Nigerian energy program in particular. Um, and so we're happy to get in touch with you offline, um, share more details, and assign you an account manager so you can learn about the, uh, the Pylon Tech batteries further. Um, so I think we're going to end it now. We're almost at the hour. Um, thank you, everyone, for your questions. Um, we we do have just one minute here, and I've seen I've seen a, another question come in. One more technical question for you, Akande, um, and then we'll close it off. Uh, is the the open loop communication is just setting the charge voltage and the cutoff voltage of the battery on the inverters, and the communication cable will not be used. Uh, is this possible with Pylon Tech? I can let you take it further. Kande, you're on mute, my friend. Sorry. Um, open loop connection is just setting the um, charge voltage and cutoff voltage of the battery on the inverter and communication cable will not be used in this. Uh, is this possible? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's possible because on the, um, on the, um, uh, if you look at the specifications, you will see the charge voltage and the discharge voltage. So um, you can um, set to the current charge voltage, that means the I, um, where it's basically going to cut off at high voltage and when it's going to cut off at um, the low battery cut off voltage. So you can always do that. But like I said, you might not be able to process warranty because many of the questions that, you know, this um, um, bat um, Pylon Tech is going to ask you is what inverter are you using? And what is the communication protocol that you're actually using? Like, are they con are you, is it connected as lithium? So th these are some of the questions that you might want to know. So you might not be able to access warranty if you're actually doing that. But it's actually, you can actually do that. Um, if I can buttress on Akonde's point. Hello, everyone. This is Damola here. Um, if you know the inverter is compatible with um, the lithium ion battery, then you don't need to do it. If there's any problem in communication and the inverter is listed in the compatibility list Balanzek has provided, just contact either us or if you have a direct connection to the contact them, then they will let you know where the problem is coming from. Thank you for that, Demola. Many of you may know Demola. He's uh, one of our key account managers in Nigeria as well, and also a technical associate with our team. Um, so uh, I, I think we'll we'll leave it there. Um, Akande, uh, thank you so much. Thank you uh, for your time. Thank you for the the presentation. Um, thank you, Justin. Hopefully, this is just the beginning of of the conversation for for many of us. Let's continue it offline. Uh, please be sure to check out uh, Solar with Akande on his YouTube channel. Um, and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing many future events and webinars together. So 
Uh, please, if you have more questions, if you'd like to watch this uh, this uh, webinar again, you can visit our website um, at, at procure.odyssey.energy, as well as past webinars. And you can see the equipment coming in as long as as well as pricing and availability. So we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there and wishing everyone a, a nice week further. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you.